Hi guys! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong mat buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema ninyo sa mat. And for today's video, ito na yung part 2 ng ating engagement part wherein we discuss about or discuss natin yung tungkol sa law of cosines. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot yun na dyan ng like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, so let's have this one ha. Ano yung una natin gagawin? Ang una natin gawin ay dapat makuha natin yung mga given. So, obviously, wala tayong mga angles na given, puro sides ang nandito. Oh, wait lang ha. So, we have... Angle A, angle B, angle C. So, hahanapin natin yan. And then, we have A, B, and C. Okay? So, for A, we have 18. For B, we have 24. And for C, we have 27. Okay? Dahil nawawala ang tatlong angle at tatlong sides ang given, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay eto. Okay? Di ba may copy na kayo ngan? Okay, so let's solve yung pinakamaliit na angle. Okay, so ang may pinakamaliit na angle ay yung may pinakamaliit na measurement, which is 18. So, let's solve for cosine A. And that is, our formula is B squared plus a C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Okay, ang B squared natin ay 24 squared plus 27 squared minus 18 squared over teka, over 2 times ang B natin ay 27 ay sorry 24 pala wait, okay, 2 times 24 and then times 27, o hindi ko na ipapakita ha, ang squared ng 24 ay 576 if you want to check it, pindutin lang sa calculator 27 squared is 729 minus 18 squared is 324. Now, pag minultiply ko itong tatlong na to, I'll have 1,296. Now, pag in ko, si... O, oh, pakita natin to. Teka. Ayan, so we have this calculator. So, 576 plus 729, okay, minus 324. That will be 978. Okay? Divided by... Tama ba? Bakit parang mali dito sa notes ko? Wait, wait. 576 plus 729. Okay? Equals minus 324. Equals 981. O, oh, mali ako ng pindot kanina. Okay? And then, divided by 1,296. Okay, and that will be 0 0.76. Okay, so I have here 0 0.76. Kaya lang si cosine A yan. Ang kailangan natin si A lang. So, sa ibang calculator, you have to press a shift cosine and then yung value ha. Pero dahil lang scientific calculator natin ay automatic na. Ala, saan na? Teka. Bakit nawala yung calculator natin na overuse ata? O, oh, ayan. <laughs> okay, yan yun. 0.76. So, cosine inverse natin or yung arc cos natin, 0.76. And that will be, or that is, 40 point, dahil ang katabi ni 3 ay 5, so 4 na siya. 40.54. So, you have here 40.54. Ito na ngayon yung a natin, angle A. Saan natin yung lalagay ito? 40.54 degrees. Okay, and then, pwede na tayong mag-solve using law of sine. Okay, so, we have sine B over B. Ito muna, okay? Equals to sine A over A. 
Okay? So, sine B, wala siya over 24 equals to 40. Sorry, sine 40.54 over 18. Cross multiply, 18 times a sine B equals to 24 sine 40.54. And then divide by 18. Okay, so your sine B will be equal to what? So, hanapin ng ating scientific calculator. Okay, so ano yun? 18 ba? Tama ba? Teka, teka, teka. Ah, no, 24. 24 times sine 40.54 times. Ah, divided by 18. Okay, wag kalimutan. Okay, so you have 24 times a sine 40.54. Ilan yan? Okay, and then i-divide nyo siya by 18. So, you will have... 0.86 dahil katabi ni 6 ay 6, so 0.87 na siya. So, 0.87. Pero dahil sign B yan, ang kailangan lang natin, B, so mag-arc sign tayo. Okay? So, arc sign. Asan ang arc sign? Arc sign, 0.87. Okay? And that is 60.46. Okay, round off ha? 60.46. Okay, so ito ngayon ay 60.46 degrees. So, paano natin makukuha yung angle C? ba? Angle C is simply 180 minus the sum of 40.54 plus 60.46. Kita pa ba? 46 yun na. O, tignan natin dito. Ilan? 40.54 plus 60.46. And that is 101. Okay, so 180 minus 101. And that is a 79. Okay, so angle C is 79. Ayan na, kumpleto na ang ating number 3. Okay, ganong procedure lang ha, mga anak ko. Okay, now let's go to the last number. Triangle R as RST given R is 39, S is 36, and T is 34. Okay, wala tayong drawing pero kayang-kaya natin yan. So you just have to write angle R, angle S, and angle T. Okay, so you have, sorry, nasana yung kaya, R, S, T. So, yung mga sides meron tayo. So, S, S, S na naman ito, ha? So, you have 39, 36, and then 34. Okay, so, ang hahanapin natin ay yung pinakamaliit yung angle. Oh, wait, 26 lang ata ako dito. Teka, sumobra ako ng given. Ayan, ha? Nag-change ako ng given. So, ito ay 26. Okay, baka kasi wala tayong makuwang value. Okay, now let's have, o oh, ang lagi ko kasi inuuna yung may pinakamaliit na angle ha. So, kunin natin tong S. So, you will have here cosine S is equal to, yung formula ha, R squared plus T squared minus S squared over 2RT. Okay, so you will have R squared here. So, 39 squared plus 90 dyan naman 39 squared plus 34 squared okay minus 26 squared okay over 2 times 39 times 34 okay 39 squared is 15 uh, 1521 and then 34 squared is 1156 minus 26 squared is 676 Okay, para hindi na humaba masyado, ha? Kinalculate ko na siya. Kinalculator ko na. O, kayo din. Kung gusto nyo i-check, ha? Kasi baka naduling si ma'am. Over. Sorry, may over pa to. Teka. Erase ko lang to. Okay, so over. Pag minultiply ko si, si 2, si 39, at si 34, piyok is real. You have here 2,652. Okay, adding this 3, tingnan natin para makita nyo. Oops, saan ko ba ilalagay? O, oh, ayan. Okay, so we have 1, 5, 21 
plus 1156. Okay, you have this one. Minus 676. And that is 2001, ha? 2001 over 2652. So, i-divide natin sila. Okay, baba lang tayo. Okay, so kung i-divide natin yan, you will have divided by 2652. You will have 0 0.75, ha? So, you will have here 0 0.75. Pero yan ay si cosine S. Okay, ang kailangan natin, S lang. So, mag arc cos ulit tayo. Okay, so paano natin gagawin iyan? So, uh, cosine sa inyo ha, shift cosine or inverse cosine. Ako meron na dito. So, you have here 0.75. And that is 41.41. .41. Okay, so we have 41.41. .41. Ito na ngayon ang cosine S ko. Ah, S pala. Sorry. 41.41. .41. Okay. Dahil meron na tayo, kompleto na natin yung S, pwede na tayo mag law of sign. Okay? So, sundin naman natin or isunod natin si... Sino gusto nyo? Si T na lang o si R? O, anong gusto nyo? Sige, si R na lang muna. Okay? So, we have sine S over S is equal to... Sine R over R. Sana magkasya sa space natin, ha? So, we have sine... Ano ba ang nasolve natin? 41.41. 41.41 over 26. Okay? Equals to sine R over R, which is 39. And then, cross multiply. 39 sine 41.41 is equal to... What's this? 26... Sin R. And then, divide by 26 kasi kailangan lang natin ay si R. Okay? Kaya magiging sin R is equal to 39 sin 41.41 .41 over 26. Okay, so kailangan na natin ng scientific calculator. 39 sin 41.41 .41 over 26. Okay? Ano nga ulit yun? 39, sorry, 39 sin 41.41 is this one, okay? Equals divided by 26, you'll have aha, zero, tama ba? Teka, teka, parang mali ako ng ano, pindot. Ulit, 39 sin 41.41, .41, okay? Equals divided by uh, 26. Okay, so that is 0 0.99. So, ayun na nga. 0 0.99 nga. Chinek ko pa. <laughs> okay, so you will have here sine R. Okay, sine R is equal to 0 0.99. Pero dahil R lang, kailangan ulit natin mag arc sine. Okay, so arc sine 0 0.99. Arc sign, 0.99. And that is 81.89. Okay. Excuse me. So, I have 81.89. Oh, ayan yung R natin. Panik tayo. You have here 81.89. And then, alam na natin kung paano makukuha yung, ano, ba Angle T. Sige, baba natin. Angle T. Is equal to 180 minus, uh, what's that? Minus 41 point, teka, teka, nagluluko yung ball pen natin. Okay, minus 41.41, .41, okay, plus 81.89. Okay, so you will have here. 41.41 K plus 81 to diba? 81.89 plus 81.89 Okay, you have 123.3 So, 180 minus 123.3 
So, 180, okay, minus 123.3 or 123.3. And that is 56.7. Hala, <laughs> teka lang. Asan yung, hala, eto. Nawala yung ball pen ko, sorry. So, we have here 56. Point, ah, 70 pala. I-check yung mga anak ha, kasi hundreds play. So, dapat dalawang digit after the decimal point. So, 56.70. Ayan na ang ating part 2 ng engagement part. Sana natulungan ko kayo mga anak ko. At kung natulungan ko kayo, i-comment yan dito sa ating comment section ha. Alam nyo naman kung gano'n kahalaga ang mga comments ninyo para sa mga video natin. At makita siya ng iba ding naghahanap ng pwedeng pagtanungan ng kanilang problema sa mat. Kaya, please lang mag-comment at laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!